Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala here says, wa in kuntum fi waibin mimma nazzalna ana abidina taktu bi suratin min mislihi wa thi'u shuhada akum min dunillahi in kuntum suadiqin. And if you are in doubt about what we have sent down upon our servant Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, then produce a surah like like thereof and call upon your witnesses other than Allah if you should be truthful. So now in this verse 23, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is addressing all those who doubt the truth of Quran. That is all those who doubt in the prophethood of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the concept that revelations were sent to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the concept that revelations which were sent to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam were the source of the verses of Quran. They are being addressed and they are being challenged to create, to write, or to present something similar to the verses of the Book of Allah. This was a challenge to the people of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's time. Because in that time, they used to say, that they did not accept and they did not have belief and faith in the prophethood of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam or the revelations. And they used to say that these are not the word, that the verses of Quran which Prophet Sallallahu presents as the teachings of Allah, they are actually Na'uzubillah min zalik. They are actually not the words of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has Na'uzubillah created or fabricated them himself. And then they used to go on with the whole of their story. And they used to say that Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam goes to the slaves of the people of the book and there he listens to the verses of the people of the book and then overnight he makes a few alteration in these words and the formats and then in the morning he presents them as the verses of Allah and the verses of Quran and then he claims that he is getting revelations of Allah and you know what they used to also name the slaves of the people of the book like they used to say that he goes to Heber, Yasar, Balan, Ya'ish and the story used to go on. How, how very pointless and how senseless they were in making such allegations against the Prophet Firstly because you know Prophet was an Ummi. He did not know how to read and write. So how was it possible for him to listen to the words or the verses in another language, because we know that the teachings and the verses of the people of the book were in Ibrani. And then listening to the verses in another language, comprehending them and reproducing them as Arabic verses of Quran. And secondly, had there been any such slaves from whom Prophet was learning, then for sure these slaves would have would have had a very prestigious status among the companions of the Prophet being his teacher, being the teacher of the Prophet themselves. They would have been regarded and they have, would have been given a lot of respect, but we find nothing of the sort. So to prove the falsehood of these people who not only doubted, but also opposed and made false allegations of the Prophet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala challenged them to make similar verses. That is Allah said that if you claim that Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has now fabricated the verses of Quran, then you think and you claim that this is possible, then okay, you go ahead yourself and do it yourself. And you call all your partners for help if you can do it. This was a challenge to all the people in the time of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And it has been challenged for all the times this challenge has been made five times in Quran, four times in the Makki Surah, and one time in the Madani Surah, that is Surah Al-Baqarah. Surah Baqarah, verse 23, here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes a challenge. And by the order of revelation, this was the last time this challenge was made, but by the order of arrangement, it is coming in the first order. 
Then Allah has challenged in the verse 38 of Surah Yunus, verse 39 of Surah Hud, verse 88 of Surah Bani Israel, and verse 33 and 34 of Surah At-Tur. But you know that this challenge has been there since the last 1400 years. There are places where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asks the people to make a few verses or 10 verses or make a surah like the chapter, like the chapter of Quran and similar forms of challenges have been present since 1400 years. Nobody had ever, ever succeeded and nobody will ever succeed in fabricating anything, anything similar to the words of Allah because Quran is a miracle. Quran is a miracle which was given to the Prophet 